Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. I hope that you're all keeping well. So if you're new to the channel, I'm Samantha and this is Keelan. <laughs> and we've been spending the last two months here in Poland, traveling around and we have visited some incredible places. So if you haven't seen any of our videos yet, you should go and check out our Poland playlist on our channel. And speaking of incredible places, we're at another one right now. We are at one of Poland's top attractions to visit. So we're here now at the Tatra National Park and we're on our way to hike to Morski Oko. Okay, so we have made it. We are in the Tatra National Park. We had to get a bus from Zakopane, which left from the main station. I think, was it about 20, 30 minutes, was it? It was about 30 minutes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I think it was 12 slots to eat, so quite affordable. And then the entrance fee, we did have to pay an entrance fee into the park, didn't we? The entrance fee into the park for both of us was 14 slots, so it's not too bad. Oh, that's it's all right. Yeah. Euro in. yeah, absolutely, yeah that's, yeah. that's nice and cheap, all right. It's grand. And then, like, there's two two ways to get to Morskioko then as well. So you can take either a horse and a horse sleigh. Yeah, up. yeah, up. And I'm not too sure, we're not too sure the prices. I think it's a little bit expensive. Yeah, not yeah, too sure. yeah. But, um, or else you can walk, and we're obviously walking up. <laughs> I think the trail is supposed to be really easy. It's supposed to be like mostly flat all yeah, the way. Yeah, I think it is, yeah. And then what does it take, about two, two hours? Two hours, 20 minutes, I think it said, on the sign at the entrance. So, like, a few people have gotten the horse. You, you see them as they kind of mm -hmm. go by us, like, but to be honest, the walk is part of it, I think, isn't it? I think it is. I think because the walk, like, look, look around. I know, it's absolutely like, it gorgeous. Look. I mean, this is... You can it's just walk and relax and take it all in. Exactly, it's like Canada, isn't yeah, it? Now, I've never been gorgeous. to Canada, but I imagine this is what it's like. Absolutely beautiful it's here. It's really beautiful, and the day that we have chosen oh, to come yes. is just unreal. Because Perfect conditions, the sun is shining the sun and the is snow. shining and it's so clear. So I think we'll get a really, really clear view of the lake. <laughs> so yeah, should be good. <laughs> What's the toilet situation like? <laughs> You're not impressed with the toilets? Huh? You're not impressed with the toilets? I'm not impressed, I can't believe I'm doing this. But I have to go, <laughs> it's a two hour walk. Will you hold the bag then? Yeah, I will. These are the, just the toilet seats right here. They've kind of got these cubicles patched around, but eh. Uh, They're not the cleanest. <laughs> and you wouldn't expect to eat it, I suppose, in a park. I mean, the amount of people, but. Yeah, yeah. Wish I, no other option, I don't think. There's no other option, so. Has to be done. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> How'd it go? It's grand, yeah. It's ice on the sea. <laughs> Is that what it was? Yeah, it was ice on the sea. Ah, yeah. okay, right. It's not too bad. See the little kids' sleds yeah. on the back of the sleigh getting pushed up. Yeah, that would have been a good thing to bring with us, maybe actually a sled. A sled, yeah. We actually, might have down to hill to do our own sled. Yeah, around here. Yeah, never even yeah. thought of that. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Look at that. This is literally just the beginning of it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> God, two and a half hours it takes. It might yeah, take us a bit longer, but I'll stop to take it all in and Thinking pictures and all. That, yeah. God, I'm right. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so although we have been in the south of Poland for uh, a few weeks, really, and in Zakopane, this is our first time in the Tatra National Park, and I just can't, I can't really describe just how beautiful this place is. It's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? It's amazing, yeah. Zakopane is actually known as like the winter capital of Poland. 
and you can, you can just, see why. You can see why. <laughs> and if you've never heard of Zakopane, it's literally two and a half hour drive away from Krakow. So like that, the south, it's in like this southern part of Poland. Yeah. And you can get a bus from Krakow and like so easy. Yeah. It's just amazing. I just it recommend is. it to anyone to come and see, honestly, like especially if you're taking if you're in a trip if, to Krakow. Yeah, like. I mean, Krakow is kind of the main, I suppose, a lot of people go there. Uh, but if you go to Krakow, jump on the bus and come two hours, two and a half hours south to Zakopane. It sits right on the border of Slovakia and Poland. And it's just, it might be our favorite place in Poland. I think it is. I mean, I'm falling in love with it, honestly. Like, it's just <laughs> everything about it, yeah. honestly. Look at the nature, I know, it's beautiful. Isn't it? They're alpine trees. Oh, yeah. look at you. Alpine trees. <laughs> and uh, am I right in saying that there's bears here? There is. The wildlife here is like, there's the lynx, there's like the, the wolf. Really? There's the bear, there's like different uh, birds. I can't remember the birds. The yeah. falcon is one. Right, okay. So, and Jesus. yeah, so there's a, there's a big good variety of wildlife here. Variety of wildlife, yeah, yeah. They've also got horses, as you can see. Look at these two having a race. Get in, Smith. Are Jesus. they racing? You're going to get run over. Oh my God, just get in. Where are we going? <laughs> <laughs> They're going single foil here. God, they fly back down the mountain. Yeah. People want people. That's lovely, isn't it? Lovely. All the trees with the snows, that's kind of... The sun's just shining through, through as well. Yeah. Very uh, picturesque place. Very picturesque, honestly. God, when, the, uh, when you get in the shade, it's freezing, isn't it? <laughs> it's so cold. <laughs> it's actually all right when the sun is sort of beaming down onto you, actually quite warm. It heats you up a little bit, does, yeah. yeah. Oh, what's this here? I think we're at like a halfway point, are we? Oh my God. Okay. No way. Now, yeah, just... Probably, yeah, one and a half hours this way. Jesus, so how long have we walked an, an so hour, far then? An hour, I think. That flew in. Yeah, yeah. It? It's because it's kind of nice and flat. As you can see, that's pretty much what the trail is like. It's always it's just kind of long and flat. Like, it's an easy walk, it's, isn't it's it? It's very easy because we were a little bit unsure. We read up, obviously, and yeah. it does say it's easy enough, but we were thinking, do we need, like, proper walking boots? Yeah, yeah, it is. We have, like, the little snow boots and stuff, but, like, it's so easy. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And, like there's a lot of kind of uh, families doing this trail as well, isn't it? Yeah, like there's kids, a lot of families kids, and like, kids and yeah, yeah so, so it's anyone can do it. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Okay, so yeah, just looking at that sign there, we're about an hour in, so I think we're gonna stop. We've brought <laughs> we brought some snacks with us, so uh, I think we're gonna have a little pit stop and just get something to eat. Bit of energy. <laughs> <laughs> right, Samantha, grab a table. This one here. Oh, hmm. so deep. Table for two, please. <laughs> I think we'd be standing. <laughs> so open. What side do you want to sit on? Yeah. Okay, what's on the so menu? We have our little, like they're like cereal bars. Oh, nice. Happy days. Little's best. Thank you very much. It's like chocolate and honey, I think. Or... Mm. Oh my god, it's rock. <laughs> it's it's frozen rock. in the bag, is it? Watch your teeth, Jesus. I think you frozen. <laughs> <laughs> just saying to Keelan there I'd say this is really nice in the summer because it's really kitted out like for for hikes and stuff like that there's like the um portaloos right through and then we've just stopped off here like we're only what 40 50 minutes into the hike and uh, there's a little bench area here so like I can just picture it like stopping off for your little picnic in the summertime and just chilling out with like the the beautiful greenery around and, and the, the sun shining weather. and warmer <laughs> weather and actually being able to sit at a table <laughs> it's covered in snow now so we can't but yeah i'd say it's lovely in the summertime yeah right time to continue Bring you us. Okay, what's it say? Morskioko, an hour and ten minutes right. left. In this direction? In this direction, right. yeah. Okay. So oh, that was. This is starting to change the trail, look. Oh, it's going to be a bit of an incline. Yeah. Wow. 
Wow, Samantha. Look at this. Look at the sun coming through the, Beautiful, isn't it? the trees. I think that's what makes it, isn't it, as well? Yeah. Everything seems so much prettier. I know, yeah. We picked the right day for it. We picked the perfect day. We did. Slight incline here, but uh, nothing to worry about. Jesus. <laughs> right, we've come to a little... Like a tea junction. So, hey, hold on a minute, more horses. Hey, lads. Now, something about the horses. You, they don't bring you to the lake. They don't bring you right. They stop 15 minutes. 15, there's a 15 minute walk, so they oh, stop. Okay. They can bring you to then you have to walk 15 minutes to reach ah, okay, the lake. Yeah. So, that's yeah. not so bad. Like. Yeah, yeah. I think they take a different route, obviously, than the one that we're taking now. Yeah, because we're going. We're going kind of more uphill now. We're going uphill, so yeah. maybe it's a shortcut for walking, and then yeah, the horses yeah. go the long route, maybe. The long route or something, kind of, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I prefer walking. I prefer walking, yeah. yeah. You have to, because you can stop and actually take it all in. Exactly, yeah, yeah. You We're, know, even though you're taking it all in when you're flying up, I'm sure the sleigh ride is great. Like, yeah, well, I, just, yeah. I prefer to walk. Yeah, yeah. It's refreshing. Really. It's freezing cold, though. You, I literally took my glove off for like <laughs> five minutes, and yeah. my hand was frozen. <laughs> it is really cold. <laughs> The snow is so fresh. I tried to make a snowball and it doesn't even stick. Look at that. <laughs> it's like powder. It's literally like powder. It's like candy floss or something. Look at it. So it's no like, snowball fights. No, it's just... Look at it. the lake, yeah, it just... It just crumbles. In your, in your hands, yeah. yeah. Look at that view. I know, Jesus. I'm really raging that we didn't bring sleds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come here. If you think that I'm pulling you up this this hill on I'm them things, another thing coming. For coming down. Maybe, yeah. They're coming down. Uh, they're great, aren't they, though? Yeah, they're class. <sighs> so this trail is suitable for everybody. You'd have seen a guy there with a pram, with a baby in it, so so fun for everybody. Okay, we're starting to see some real clear images of the of the mountains, aren't we? It's crystal clear, I can't get over. Absolutely. It's playing fine up there. The plane. Like yeah. I'll zoom in, yeah, you can see the... Uh, you can see it in the distance there. It's so clear. Uh, it's literally like looking at a postcard or something, isn't it? I know, it? yeah. Like what you see Those mountains are absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? Oh my god, they're beautiful. The spiky peaks of the Tatra Mountains. There you are. I know we keep saying it, but what a day to do this. Talk about clear views. Because sometimes, like sometimes you could probably, I'd say you come up here and it could be just real gloomy and yeah. you can't see anything, but... Yeah, and I, read up, I think there's like a webcam thing that you can, um, and it, it puts up recent pictures right, okay. of the lake. So if you want to check it out and see if it's like a misty day and how right, clear okay, yeah, you're yeah, going yeah. to get to see it and stuff yeah. like that. Now, obviously we didn't even check up that. <laughs> no, you can. The look of the Irish. Yeah, I'm telling you now. <laughs> You alright there, Samantha? Yeah, you're nearly right. You alright? <laughs> There's like a big lump of ice there. Be careful. I know, I yeah. Know go. I nearly went there. Uh, I nearly went flying. Samantha had to grab me, but we didn't get it on camera. But we might get this on camera. Very funny. <laughs> Holding on for dear life now after you nearly fall. <laughs> <laughs> so we've decided to take the shortcut. We accidentally took it to be fair, didn't we? Yeah, we kind of just thought this was the trail, but then someone said to us that it's uh, a shortcut, but it has its uh, disadvantages. It does, it's very slippy. <laughs> very slippy. I think that the trick is to avoid the, st the, the stone. stones coming through, yeah. Yeah, because they're the bits that are icy. Yeah. If you try to stick to the snow, but like that, it is. You'll just slide. You have to sort of hold on. <laughs> <laughs> And my boots don't have great grip. They're like just sort of snow boots, waterproof, but the grip on them is not very good for this. Like look at that, that's just pure ice. You okay? Shit. You alright? No, I'm not too stuck. Yes. <laughs> Let go of the pole. <laughs> We're down right back up to the right. <laughs> <laughs> it's went. so slippy. People were using that and they were going down on sleds. Yeah. Now, that would be that nice. was a great idea. 
Okay, so we are stopping now for another little pit stop. We found this cute little bench. So we're gonna have we two bars, do we? Two bars, we have some rice cakes. Some rice cakes and some water as well. These are the views. There's the lads on the on the horses. My god, Samantha. Is and I this gotta see without snow on it? You gotta see without snow? Yeah. <laughs> oh. so sit down and have a little rest. And take in those views. Take in those views. Good lord. Is it your favourite place in Poland? Zagrapane. Yeah. Yeah, I've fallen in love with it. Like, I, I really, really have. I just, it's probably one of my favourite places I've ever been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's incredible. Like. It is. And this, and this is why we travel, isn't it? For this places is like this. We travel for places just, like this. We never even heard of this place up until about. Three months ago, maybe about when that. we started we were doing, doing the a research. Bit of research before we came and we came across it. But even the videos and the pictures just doesn't do it justice. It like doesn't. you have been to here. Be you have to be here. here like, yeah. We're taking, trying to take some pictures, and we're like, it's, it's, it's not the same. same <laughs> but. but just the experience of just being here is just, like I said, this is the reason why we travel. Maddie, I lived here. Is <laughs> that not for you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very funny. <laughs> I actually took down the emergency number. In case we got phone. stranded and got eaten stranded. by bear bears. Yeah. So, so left no stone <laughs> unturned with making sure we were safe. I sure did. <laughs> okay, so a good sign. <laughs> We've made it to the <laughs> point where the horses pull in. Okay. They can't go any further, which means right. we've only about 15 minutes left ah, to reach right, the okay. lake. Sweet, happy days. So, high five. High five is right. We did it. Samantha. One memento, please. Avalanches. Avalanche risk area. Oh my god, I was so, only looking up a video of that last night oh actually, really? yeah. Jeez, you had it all covered, the emergency number, <laughs> bears alert, avalanche <laughs> areas. Jesus. Oh. Fair play to you. That's anyway, mad. hopefully none of those things happen, so. No. Anyway, but it does happen, apparently. It does happen. Yeah. The one that I watched was, like, back in 2015. Right. And it was, like, the end of January as well. <laughs> oh, okay. So, yeah. th so this time so of this the year. So this time as well, yeah. Obviously, yeah. when there's, like, a lot of snow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should be alright. We'd be alright. Do you know what, as well, I was just saying to Keen, <laughs> my lips are literally frozen. <laughs> so I'm trying to talk, and it feels like my lips are numb, and they're not moving. So, subscribe to GoTide Travels. <laughs> yeah, it's like I'm mumbling, do you get that? You know when your lips just freeze together? I'm like, I can't even move them with the colds. <laughs> I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. There's literally snow or ice on your eyelashes. That's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, Jesus. It's that, that's it's how cold, cold it is, cold honestly. Is, yeah. I can't, I'm starting to not be able to feel my ties. They're literally like <laughs> numb. I can't feel my cheeks. Yeah, your cheeks are real rosy. <laughs> <laughs> rosy cheeks yeah. and... Jesus, I can actually see in the corner of my eye the, the, the ice. The ice stuff, yeah. yeah. Rosy cheeks and frozen eyelashes. <laughs> oh. Okay, so just behind me there, it's like a cafe, is it? Or kind of bistro or something like that. A lot of people are sitting there getting something to eat. We're going to continue on to the lake and then we're going to we're gonna stop in there for a coffee once we're done with the lake, aren't we? Yes, we are, yeah. Ooh. I also read up there's like a refuge that you can stay in on the mountain as oh, well. Really? Yeah, so I think you have to book it like miles in advance. Right, okay, right, like, do you know what up. I mean? It books up like, yeah. yeah. But you can stop off as well, and there's a restaurant in it, you can use that, and like they do some traditional <laughs> food and stuff as well. But Takes us back to our Greece days, do you remember? That's what we climbed me of. Uh, Mount Olympus, which is the tallest mountain in Greece. We had to stay in a refuge kind of halfway up, stay overnight, and continue on. Yeah. This is not as hard as that. No, but I think but the idea it's of it the same is. Fields. Well, that's it, it's the same fields, but if you want to continue on and do some. Oh yeah, trails. yeah, you can do, yeah. Well then you stay in, in the, the patches, yeah. in the refuge, yeah. I see. They're dead. That's what you want, isn't it? Did you be down that hill in no time? Okay, so, I hope I'm not wrong, but I think I can see it in the distance. Samantha, I think we are here. I think we're here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to see it now, are you? Oh yeah. Are you ready for it? Oh my God, is this it? I think so. Wow. Oh my god. 
Kowalski Oko. People have beers there. Yeah. We should have got a beer. <laughs> Take in the view. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to, I don't know if this is safe, there's a few people doing it, but we're going to go and have a little walk on the lake. It's frozen solid, so the we chance... we have to go down and walk on it though. <laughs> uh, you'd have to, yeah, I mean, it's probably nothing that's going to happen. <laughs> no, we'll be fine. <laughs> we're going to give it a bash, right? The stairs actually seems worse than standing on the lake. That's the thing, it's the stairs, but the only thing is there is like a blue rope right down, so you can yeah, hold on Yeah, yeah, you can it, hold so on. Slip. That's it there. Right, I'll be going with it. Try it down without falling. And film it. <laughs> I'm filming at the same time. Come on, that lake is going to be defrosted by the time we get down, Samantha. Come on. That fella there has the right idea on the fancy gear. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> Jesus. Do you know what? It's just one problem after another. I'm getting rope born. <laughs> I've already got wind born. Now I have rope born on the old hands. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so we're on Morski Oko! <laughs> we made it! God almighty. I mean, just look at this. This is absolutely incredible, this. honestly. Isn't Look it? at the size of those mountains. The camera, again, every time we come to these places, the camera never really does it justice. But it's not going to probably just, do it justice. You have to come here because it's just absolutely spectacular, isn't it? Look at the sheer size of those mountains. They are massive and they're so impressive. It's just painted white. Trees all around it. Just unbelievable, isn't it? It's unbelievable. It literally looks like you're looking at a... a Screen or like a like picture, doesn't it? Yeah, doesn't like a screensaver. Like it doesn't look right. <laughs> on a laptop. Yeah, yeah, it does. It looks like I'm looking into somebody's <laughs> laptop screensaver. But, uh, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Again, we are kind of, I suppose, not making comparisons, but we are, we are talking about people saying come here in the summer. I'd say summer would be just equally as, as impressive. It's just beautiful here. I think it's so nice. I think whatever the season, I you'll just think really if you appreciate if you this came place. in summer or winter, you're going to get amazing views and yeah, just, yeah, just to take it all in just, just take it all in like you'll enjoy it either or yeah. I'd love to come back in the summer myself now and yeah. see what it's like after yes, coming we just move to Poland will we <laughs> <laughs> it seems to have everything we want <laughs> So it's time now to go and grab a nice warm bowl of soup <laughs> to heat ourselves up. <laughs> I think it's badly needed, isn't it? Yeah, big time. Oh my God, I've issued ice because I think my nose. <laughs> I can't honestly. feel my face. <laughs> well, uh, we're going to go in here. Honest to God, just look at that view. Wow. 
Right, let's go heat ourselves up. Oh my god, that's out. Ready? Okay, so we are finished with our soup. We are finished with the lake. We are now on our way back down. What an amazing experience to be up there to see Morski Oko. You can see why it's one of Poland's top attractions. Uh, as we said earlier on, great in the winter, great in the summer. So it was great to see you. So we're going to close the video out here. And if you liked it, of course, please give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. We have loads more videos to come from Zakopane because we have another bit of time here. Yeah. And um, yeah, so and our videos are also going to be more regular. So keep an eye out on our channel and we'll see you in the next one.